Oh, it's hard to say ex ex husband after you've been together with a guy with the same person for seventeen years. <laughs> like I said, I was twenty, was twenty four. We were young, and I said, "Hey, thank God, I had not paraded that uh, that man here." You know, showing you that I have a muzungu, and then all of a sudden he disappears. People be like, "Hey, wait." Born alienda happy, happy alienda happy, although alienda happy, but uh, uh, I've been anyway. alone for one long year, and I am not even in a hurry to na kurudi soko. No, <laughs> I am not in a hurry to oga kuoga na kurudi soko because I hear now you, you, after separation you just need to shower and get go back to the market. What is at the market? Na skia soko ni chafu apana. I am going to wait for god's time hey guys welcome to my channel my name is lizzie a kenyan youtuber here in italy and today is the first day of january 2023 so happy new year happy new year happy new year and today is a bit of sweet day for me sweet because god's grace has carried me through up to 2023 there are some people we started 2022 together and they are not here anymore and uh, bitter because also today marks uh, one year since me and my baby daddy went different ways. Yes, uh, he left this house uh, last year, the first day of January 2022. And uh, if you've been watching my videos, most of the time I, I was saying 22 was a trial and tribulation type of year for me. <laughs> yes. We went different ways last year so yes the whole of 2022 i was a single mother yes i know this will come as a surprise to so many people because even some of my family members they don't know we are separated legally not divorced because here you need to wait for three years for you to divorce so maybe you can change your mind and go back to, uh, and uh, get back together but uh this time i don't know if me and him <laughs> will ever get back together yes our 17 years of being together came to an end last year yes i met him when i was 20 and he was 24 and we had a good 17 years and uh, what was the reason the reason is that uh, we fell out of love there was no domestic violence. There was no nothing. By the way, we still work together, still work at their father's company. And uh, the cracks in our marriage uh, started showing in uh, 2020 when uh, during the pandemic, most people, <laughs> couples were forced to stay indoors and 24-7 uh, together. We could not tolerate each other. <laughs> And uh, now I can laugh because I've I've healed. Uh, I've taken the whole of last year to work on myself, to mourn the end of the marriage, to mourn the end of the relationship. And like I said, divorce, separation is like death. This is the death of something. And when something dies, whether it's a human being, whether it's a marriage, whether it's some, you need to mourn. You need to take time to mourn. Yes. And I uh, thank God the therapy really helped uh, and uh, i remember last year the first day of january 2022 when he was packing his things to go to his new home to his new home i was like oh my god now this is the beginning of a new journey for me and the children and uh, by there we separated consensually there are two different ways of separating or divorcing here in italy there's the uh, consensual one where both of you agree this thing is not working so you can even uh, use one lawyer like us we used one lawyer to prepare them papers and whatever we didn't even go to court our uh, the lawyer that my lawyer we used my lawyer she's the one who prepared all the documents and whatever took them to court we just needed to come to yeah. sign so I always tell people, if you want to divorce, do it consensual. Especially if they are children, there's no point of fighting and whatever, because it's them kids who are going to suffer. And the kids are going to suffer even if you, you separate by the consensual. Because this is the end of a, of, of a family, you know. Now they'll have both two homes, mama's home and daddy's home. So try as much as possible to separate peacefully, okay? And uh, here in Italy, when uh, people, when a couple separates, uh, 
uh, the mother uh, remains in the matrimonial home. That's what happened to me. I remained in the matrimonial home, me and the children, and he went uh, elsewhere. Yes, he got uh, he bought another home, and uh, but that will depend because the judge must really really be sure that you are a good mother it is not that you don't use drugs you are an alcoholic you are a violent mother there need to be some procedures for them to 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 know that you are a good good mother because if you are an alcoholic out here that's when you you hear the ch children are given to the father and you as a mother you're told to leave the matrimonial home thank god i'm not none of those so i remained in the matrimonial home and I will stay in this house up to when the kids are financially stable. Before it was uh, up to when they are 18 years. But now I remain in this house until they are financially stable. And then I can vacate. <laughs> okay. And um, we started co-parenting subito right away. Yes. It's like our situation. The kids uh, um we have alternative weekends. Like this weekend they are here. And the next weekend, they are their father's house. Plus, uh, uh, he sees them uh, uh, three times a week. Uh, and every they eat lunch at his place. So, we put our children first. Because uh, when, uh, when, when a couple separates, you, you are grown-ups. But you have two innocent kids. Uh, and if you are stupid, that's when them children grow up with childhood traumas. One year has flown just like that. Uh, in 2022 was not easy had to adjust uh, to uh, the life of a single parent in a foreign country like uh, now after a separation me here i don't have a mother i don't have a father i don't have a brother or a sister it's just me and the children and thank god um, even if you are separated they really help me grand the grandparents uh, by the way, the grandma, she is the one sometimes who helped me to take Davi for his football training. Like his family just did not just leave me like that. At just because we are separated, they are like, we don't know her anymore. Even the other day when I was sick, uh, it's the grandparents who are bringing shopping for me. It's like, um, I thank God for them because another family, when you separate, they just, they are like, okay, you don't, you're not with our son anymore. So we don't know you. They are good people. Like I said, uh, I we st I still work at uh, their father's company, his father's company. <laughs> I still work with it because when him, he works there. <laughs> My ex-husband works there. Oh, it's hard to say ex-husband. -ex After you've been together with a guy, with the same person for 17 years. <laughs> like I said, I was 20, he was 24. We were young. And now I'm in my late 30s and he is uh, in his early 40s. Um, and uh, by the way, we work together, we see each other every day, but the dynamic has changed. It's not like the other time when we are together, we'll, we will have coffee break together. I respect his pace uh, and I know my position. Me, I go do my eight hours when we, uh, when this, when the kids have slept at his house, I will go and ask how are the children, whatever, whatever. But I respect uh, uh, whatever boundaries i am not his uh, his wife no more <laughs> and i said hey thank god i had not paraded that uh, that man here you know showing you that i have a muzungu and then all of a sudden he disappears people be like hey wait born alienda happy happy alienda happy although alienda happy but uh anyway yes and uh, I, I have been single for one year i concentrated taking care of my children and uh, healing uh, both mental both mental and uh, physical because uh, i'm not going to come here and lie that uh, the 2022 was an easy year i had to adjust uh, and to accept that i'm a single mom in a foreign country with two <laughs> young kids and i thank god that he has come through in so many ways um, and financially i am okay because uh, uh, the judge uh, um uh, he's the one who calculates the child support and my baby dad has been giving me child support and uh, uh, and also my salary and i have managed up to now i don't have my denny <laughs> like even i've also learned how to manage my money because before when we are together we would pay the bills uh, split the bills 
and uh, so sometimes i would go out and shop and do whatever it's not that i don't go out and shop but now i know i am a single parent and every coin must count and i've been alone for one long year and i am not even in a hurry kuoga na kurudi soko no <laughs> I am not in a hurry to work, to work on a crude soccer because I hear now you, you, after separation you just need to shower and get go back to the market. What is at the market? I am going to wait for God's time. Maybe in future I will get uh, get into another relationship, but I'm not in a hurry. Oh. I am not in a hurry because um, mm -mm. and uh, so for 2023. I'm asking God to continue holding my hand. I am asking him to continue blessing me financially so that I can be able to take care of these two kids that he gave me. I am asking for me for good mental health. Yes, because that is very important. Uh, because uh, at some point, at some point last year after after the separation. I was kind of depre depressed. I was kind of depressed. So I'm not going to lie. Because I was like, wow, am I going to manage by myself? Thank God I also had some money in the bank. Because if you separate and you don't have money, that is when it's tough. And that's why I always say when you come here, my fellow African women, look for a job. Work. Work. Because even if this man is giving you child support, huh, <laughs> it's not going to be enough for... Oh. Because the child support that he gives me plus my salary, I managed to survive. And uh, history has repeated itself. I was a daughter of a, uh, I'm a daughter of a single pa mother, and now I'm a single mother. But the difference is the father is in the picture. Even if we are separated, he's a good father. I'm not going to he come here and talk uh, and say that he's a bad father. He's a good father. He really takes care of those kids, uh, even when uh, they are at his house. He does everything for them. He is a good father to my children. We did not work out uh, as a couple, but as parents, we are top. We we knew when we're asking for separation is that uh, the kids will come first. Don't be selfish and now start fighting. And uh, you know, who suffers when a, when a couple separates is them kids. So... Be very, very intentional and uh, reassure those children that uh, even if mama and papa, they have separated, um, your love is not going to change. And that's what happened to us. We reassured our children every day, especially in the beginning stages where they were confused. Like today, they had a home with both mother and father and tomorrow they have two homes. You need to be there for your children. That is not the time for you to start woman running after after men that is not the time for you father to start running after alcohol you need to be very intentional so these children won't suffer uh, will not have childhood trauma yes. and uh, yes uh, I'll, I'll do more of these videos um, and thank you so much for watching please pray for me and my children Happy 2023. May it be a year of restoration for you. May it be a year of abundance, financial, and uh, may you conquer whatever they said you're not going to do. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.